Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are in Ruiru Abaseda. To be specific, we are exactly 200 meters from the tarmac and exactly 1.9 kilometers from Dika Superhighway. Next to me is the three bedroom all and suit bungalow with a print area of 140 square meters. This home is going for only 7.8 million and the home has been constructed on a 40 by 60 plot of land. The unit is in a gated estate of 16 units and as you can see, the estate security is top notch because each home has been surrounded by a perimeter wall and a razor wire. Each home comes with a sliding gate and a two car parking. But before I take you inside, I want you to check the perimeter wall and admire it. Instead of the developer using the normal longitudinal setup, the developer decided to use a diagonal setup. This is the madness that excites me. I'll take you inside. As I said, each unit comes with a two car parking. If you check from there, this home is extremely beautiful and very well done. But if you are eco friendly like me, you know we can't swallow the bile. This home is lacking some greenery. The only thing that you get is this little plant and all the others are dead. We need to keep playing because God needs to do something. On the other side, you have the stairs that will take you to the roof deck and here you have an external toilet. I'll take you inside. For you to access this home, you'll need to use your fingerprint or this card. So if you have a partner and you are used to hiding one finger, then you'll have to hide it twice. Let's go inside. From the entrance, I love the openness of this home. First, this living room opens to the dining area on my far front. And behind me, you have this massive window that runs along the length of this wall. This home comes with a transparent door on one side. This is where you will do your electronics and I like it that it comes with numerous sockets for all your electronics. This space also comes with internet ready and DSTV. Of course, you know we can't leave the living room without talking about the chips I'm seeing. If you check from there, you can see that they are beautiful and very well done. But what complements them is the lighting of this sitting room. As you can see from there, this home comes with a very beautiful center light, some side lights, and a number of recess lights. As I mentioned earlier, the living room opens to the dining area of this home. Here, we are at the center of this home. And on my right hand side, you have the two kids' bedrooms. And on my left hand side, you have the primary bedroom. The kitchen is just next to me. The dining space will be sufficient for your nuclear family. It comes with a wash basin, a soap container, and here is where you are supposed to have your smart mirror. I think the developer got broke before he finished. But I promise you'll find it here when you come. The dining area comes with a massive window and a beautiful writing for your late night meals. I like how easily the dining area connects to the kitchen. If you can check from there, you can see that the details of this kitchen are top notch. Here you have the sink area and it comes with a double sink and a soft dish. This door will take you to the laundry area and the clothes area. Behind me, you can see that the kitchen comes with numerous cabinets for all your cutlery. I like it that the kitchen comes with this holder for your kitchen towels. This space has been reserved for your gas cooker and here is where you will do your refrigerator. This kitchen does not come with a pantry but it's a small house and the supermarket is just across the street. You don't have to store all your dry food in house. You will see the laundry area. This is the laundry area and the developer will add some rails here for your clothing area. But your clothes can also be dried on the roof deck. I'll take you back inside. Let's see the kids' bedrooms first. The first bedroom is the smallest and I think it has been reserved for the smallest kids. The closet of this bedroom is here and the bathroom is on my far front. The bathroom comes with a wash basin, a WC, and on my far front, you have the showering area. We will see the second bedroom. Before we get to the second bedroom, which is here, you have the common washroom. The common washroom is just standard with a WC and a tissue holder.
At the entrance of the second bedroom, you have its bathroom. And this bathroom is just similar to the bathroom that we saw in the first bedroom. This bedroom is slightly bigger than the first one and it faces the front side of this home. Its closet is here. The closet is a standard floor to ceiling with two similar spaces for the hangable clothes and two drawers down there. I'll show you the primary bedroom. At the entrance of the primary bedroom, you have the primary bathroom. The primary bathroom is the biggest and it comes with a WC, a space for your shower and a wash basin. The primary bedroom comes with a massive closet for you and your partner and it has these spaces that has been set for your shoes. The closet is just similar to the ones that I showed you earlier. Because this room will host the king and the queen of the house, the lighting and the gypsum series have been done very well. Let's see the lighting. Beautiful. During the day, this room will receive maximum natural light from this massive window. That's all for this bedroom. Now that we are done with the main house, I'll show you the roof deck really quick. This roof deck covers a print area of 130 square meters. I like it that it comes with some security lights, an area for your TV, and an electric siren. The roof deck gives you the best views to the growth of this locality and the beauty from here is on another level. On this other side, the roof deck hosts a 3000 water litre tank for all your consumption. That's all for this roof deck. We have come to the end of the tour. As I said, this home is going for only 7.8 million. If you have enjoyed the show, make sure you give us a like. If there is something that you didn't like, please comment below. That's all for today, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.